Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. And today I have another tutorial for Divi that focuses on the UI of the Divi Builder itself. And it's, it's kind of an unusual thing, but I wanna show you how you can set the default position of when you click a module or section or row and the setting modal pops up, right? With, with your tabs, you know, content, design, advanced. That modal there, I'm gonna show you how to set it so that it's always at the same position always the same height and the same width. So it's kind of an unusual thing, but hey, it's something that could increase your efficiency. So let's get started, show you how to do this. All right, so this obviously is a little bit of a different tutorial than what I'm used to doing, where we're doing something with the modules and showing you some cool trick or design option or whatever with CSS, but this one is actually with the Divi Builder UI. So we're talking about that settings pop-up. It's uh, called a modal window or Anything you know that pops up, whether you're clicking the the gear icon on a section, a row, or a module, it's the settings pop up. I guess that's what Nick Roach called it in the video the other day. So I'll just go with settings pop up for now. Anyway, what we're going to do is you know affect it so that anytime someone opens up the builder, that it will have a default height, width, or position. And you can do that with like a min width or max width or min height and max height and all that too. So I'm going to show you that and you'll also be able to adjust it within those parameters. And there's, I don't know if this is valuable or not, but there's some use cases like, especially if you have someone working on your site, um, that's, that's not you. And maybe they're not as familiar with the builder. You kind of want to lock it down and lock it to where it's always at the same position and they can't move it. And you know, what if they move it off the screen and then they can't, access the save button or something. I mean, I've done that before. Um, but it, just for convenience where it's always at the same spot, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this isn't even helpful to anyone, but I think it's kind of cool. Um, and if you have more ideas, definitely let me know um, for the Divi Builder UI. So far we have like the icon picker height and the CSS box height and stuff like that. Okay. Anyway, we need to have a place to put our code. Basically this tutorial is just CSS. So if you have a child theme, you'll be putting this in the style.css file. And if not, or if you don't want to put it there for some reason, you want to just play with this, put it in your Divi theme options, custom CSS box. I'll show you that. So the first one here, we'll do the width first. We'll start with the width and we're going to just copy in the snippet that I have here. Right. And then we're going to check it out and kind of look around at it. All right. So we're going to copy this, go over to the website, and put it in your Divi theme options, you know, down here at the bottom. And of course I have this made taller with our other tutorial. So kind of have like a series going here or something with the Divi Builder UI. Anyway, save that there. That's where we're going to be placing them. And then I'll open up the Divi Builder. All right, so that first snippet that we pasted was setting the width. Let's go ahead and open up any of our settings here and we'll see what it has done. All right, so down here, you know, you have the thing in the corner to drag, um, but I can't, I can't go further. See how it moves just a tiny little bit. I can't go any further. That's because I've set a width, the max width, to 400 pixels, and I've, I've maxed it out. I cannot go any wider. Just a tiny bit of flex there. Should have made it just a little wider. In fact, I'll do that when I paste the next snippet. I'll show you, but now I can still go up and down, right? The height has not been affected, just the width. I can still move it around, right? Now let's go back and check out a couple of the other ones. So the next one was the height. Now this one I had set up a little different. I'll show you. I, I had it set with um, a min height and a max height. And this is just as an example. You should be doing that however you want with any of these. You could set just um, width, just height, or max width, min width, min height, max height. You know, you get the idea. So by setting it min height 400, max height 600, that allows 200 you know pixels of, of movement in there. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and change the width to 500 so that we can you know see it a little better in our example. All right, and you will need to refresh the page when you're making changes in the CSS because the builder needs to be you know refreshed. So um, so here we go. Let's go ahead and open up again. Now remember we have the, the height set and then the, the width is, the max width is wider. So let's see, see I have some movement, but I can only go to there. I, I can't, 
I can't go any further than that. Okay, now for height, see that? There's my limits between four and 600 pixels. Um, and, and I can prove that by showing you just slightly different. Like let's say I make it um, 300 and then maybe 400, all right? We'll show you that and refresh your page again. Okay, so here we go. Let's see how it is now. Um, the, it's definitely noticeable. I can only go, I can go smaller, but then the, the difference is there. So yeah, there you go. That's the height and width. And again, you could set it as a, as an actual, you know, height and width. Um, so far here, let me, let me do that one yet. So I'll take that to width and then I'll get rid of, uh, one of these and I'll just say the height is, you know, 300 or something. We'll save that and go back here and refresh the builder again. Okay. And here's an example where I, I can't, Oh, I can move it up and down. Now, why is it? Oh, it's treating it like the height. I cannot move the width. The width works on 500 PX important and then the height 300 PX important. Now, why is that not working? Anyhow, I think I'm gonna just let it go. You get the idea here. Now, as far as the position, that would be the next one here. Um, you can set like top, bottom, left, right, you know. Um, we're gonna copy that in. I'll show you the same, it's the exact same process here of just, you know, adding your value. So paste in the snippet and then um, here I have an example. I have it set at top 75 pixels and left 100. So I'm gonna save this and then just show you here, like, like right now I can move this anywhere I want, right? So the position will be like, it'll be like, like I could put top zero and it would just it would be at the top and it would move across like this, okay? And I would literally not be able to move it down. It would just like be at the top. Or if I'd say top zero, left zero, it would, you know, it would be stuck right there, right? So I'm gonna refresh. I had it at top 75, left 100. Let's see how that is. Okay, and then when I open that up, look where it went. It, it automatically went there. Now I can't move it. So you have to remember that's, you know, that's setting setting it the position now i can i can open actually i can't if i if i would remove the width and height okay then i could open this up and, and make it wherever but um it's man it's it's locked in there okay so um what i can do and show you is remove like i'll remove the the um the left okay so now we just have top 75. in fact let's get rid of the height and width while we're at it um, and just, you know, I'll just show you that scenario. Okay, I open this up again. All right, and remember we just have top, so I can move it back and forth freely. Very nice, but I can't move it down. And of course, now I removed it, I can open this, do whatever I want there, but it's going to always be at the top, always slides across, so. All right, so there you go. That's how you set that position there by default and we actually have some other tutorials in this series i think we have uh three or four or five already so far of of things that were changing the ui of the divi builder or even things you know in wordpress there and we have more ideas for this as well so it's kind of kind of an unusual type of tutorial i guess you could say but i try to do things like like increasing that icon picker area for the blurb icon or you know increasing the height of the css box things like that that you know we use every day we're always in there every day in the divi builder so like why not make it better um so yeah if you want to see more let me know that type of thing and i'll be happy to do it all right we'll see you guys in the next video